All right, it's uh, Sunday, trying to get a little work done here in the shop, and I'm working on these uh, hitch plates, and you can see a copy of it on the screen there that I'm trying to cut, and these are the supports for it that, that go along the edge. These are 5 8 and I cut all those with a brand new set of consumables, and then um, <clears throat> there's more 1 inch plates here. Let me show you these, and uh, of course, the ones I just cut were 5 8 I just Cut those there. This is one inch uh, plate, and um, so I've got a you know set of consumables that are worn, and we've got this issue where I've got a PowerMax 85, which is not rated to pierce one inch plate, but as you saw, I got those holes for the tail lights to pierce. So started a Facebook thread. Jim Colt responded to it, and one of his suggestions was to use some worn consumables and do a layered cut where you do your pierces with old consumables and then put fresh ones in there to uh to actually make the the cuts with and let it you know pierce in the same hole that the uh, worn ones did and you can see we got plenty of stuff here to work with that uh, a lot of these are probably good but a lot of jobs like that are important i'll just start with a fresh set just so i know i won't have any issues so anyway um let me show you this the the uh, cam on it is uh we're gonna start with let me delete that this is what we're working with and you can see all it's gonna do is go and pierce each of the holes and we have one operation i know that's set for three quarter uh, i was trying to get an idea of the pierce height and if you put uh one inch in there you it won't show you a pierce height because it's an edge start but let me change that so uh Got that, and we want to. We're using this drilling operation, so this is just going to do a pierce in the center of any hole that it finds that's at these dimensions right here. So I'm just putting that in there, and you can see it's going to go and pierce all those. All right, so let me uh, let me load this back in real quick. Um, let's call it that. And we'll go back over to mock. And we'll load this. All right. So you see, if you notice here, it does not populate the pierce delay. And um, because I have it set for one inch. But uh, the three quarter inch pierce delay with an 85 amp tip is 1.5 seconds. So I'm going to make it two seconds on the pierce delay. So I think we're we're all set. We're zeroed out here, and uh, we're down to a good spot. Um, and once you do this and you start this, you can't your machine can't move. So we've got it set up for the edge start on an outside contour. Might as well, you know, not pierce as, as only pierce when we need to. So uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're good to go. I'm going to turn THC off because we don't really need it for this. Okay, so let's see if it'll uh, pierce all the way through on these uh, holes with a two-inch delay. All right, well, that did not work uh, like I thought. I know it wasn't on there long enough to pierce all the way through. Um, <clears throat> so um, that that drilling tool in sheet cam is probably, I don't know how to change the uh, how long it pierces for, how long it drills for, basically. So, um, but maybe that's enough of a starter that it can pierce the rest of it. It's down at least a quarter of an inch in there, so the rest of it's going to pierce at a normal, like, three-quarter inch pierce. So, uh, we will set our cam back up and see if it will cut those holes now. All right, so without changing anything, I just deleted that drilling operation and added an inside cut, one-inch steel. You see there, uh, it's calling for an edge start. 
So now we're just going to cut these holes. Again, we've still got the same uh, consumables in there. You know, hopefully, I don't know, we'll see uh, how well that uh, that works. But I'm going to change the consumable on the outside. I can recover from anything that happens in here. Uh, you know, if I had to get a mag drill in here and drill those holes manually, I'd rather not do that. But the outside cut, you know, would be, if you mess that up, it's might be pretty hard to recover from that. So anyway, let's, uh, let's flip over. I got the, uh, Mach 4 set up. Uh, we are going to use THC on this. Pierce delay. We're going to set for, uh, two or 1.5 seconds. which is what three quarter inch piercing calls for. And uh, right here on the uh, True Cut THC, I am going to set this puddle jump up to one second. And that will slow the transition down of the, uh, of the pierce height down to the cut height to allow it to jump over a puddle if there is one there. All right. I think that should do it. I can't think of anything else. Uh, I'm going to uh, set you up right here. Hey guys, uh, well, I'm doing a voiceover on this part right here because uh, as you saw, I was trying to pierce that and you saw the very long pierce cycle and all the bubbling up. Well, it didn't actually pierce all the way through. And uh, as I saw it starting to cut, uh, I quickly just stopped the machine uh, right where it was. So you, you saw it, you know, piercing and then stopped there. So I didn't even realize I left the camera rolling here. Uh, so I'm just kind of talking over this and so what I decided to do was grab the mag drill and uh, just drill the pierce holes. And uh, so you see, you know, you can hear me shuffling around in the background there and go in and get the mag drill and get that set up. So anyway, we're just going to use those pierce points that we did to, um, to use the mag drill to line up on those pierce marks. And right here you saw that I moved the work over back over to the zero point so we're back zeroed out which is a good thing uh, we're back at the home position so once we drill these we can come back and uh, and cut them so I'll uh, resume back to the rest of the video now All right, well, you guys saw that. Uh, I just grabbed the mag drill and the uh, bit that was in it, uh, figuring that the uh, annular cutter would, you know, cut around the hardened, flame-hardened area. So uh, I guess it, it, it started trying to move before, while the pierce was still bubbled up and it was it was catching on the, on the pierce. So I just e-stopped it, and I was able to get it to uh, return back to the work zero point and drilled the holes and now i'm going to run it with thc off here are the settings pierce hide and pierce delay that really doesn't matter now i mean i, I put a pierce hide in there of point uh or eighty thousandths um so we're just going to let this uh pierce against against this scrap piece and then once it references or reference off of that and then pull that away and without THC on, hopefully the torch will stay on. 
because I, I didn't drill these holes like perfectly accurate so I, i'd have a hard time like starting it right on the edge but um let's try this and see what happens i'm going to set you up here again so that i don't have to handhold the camera Well, uh, so we, we got those uh, inside holes cut out. Now you see the, I uh, got this, the outside sped up. And you'll see me coming in there a couple times. I was using some calipers to uh, just check the consistency of those tail light holes to make sure that they were all uh, pretty close to even to the edge, you know, because I did cut it in multiple layers. Uh, and just with a tape measure, you know, just, uh, again, doing some, some checking there. So I really can't say enough good things about the True Cut machine and just how pleased I am with it. The thing is just rock solid and, you know, and, uh, you know, all the tools I have in the shop to be able to pull off a job, even though my plasma cutter was undersized. Hey, you know, we all, none of us ever like to come up short, but occasionally we do that. And, uh, so check out true cut. I got a link in the description. If you want to see more about their tables. Okay. Well, got it all cut out. Uh, and maybe one of you guys will come help me clean up this mess. And they turned out pretty good. I, I did a couple measurements because uh, I was afraid, you know, cutting it in multiple layers that it would, things could shift a little bit. But it's pretty consistent all the way around, at least for what this is for Plasma Cut. So pretty pleased with that. Hopefully this uh, video may help somebody that's looking to figure out how to get a, a Hypertherm 85, Powermax 85 to pierce one inch plate. See you guys.